All right, what's up, you guys? It's been a little while. What, like two months, maybe? But all that matters, we're here. I figured I would come on here, talk to you a little bit. It's been a little while since I've done that. Um, but first, I figured I would get the DVD portion out of the way. Yes, I'm still buying DVDs. Um, I had to get a little caught up. I got these two recently. We got the Royal Rumble, of course. And... We got the Stone Cold sticker. They were in the Alamo Dome, so gotta have Stone Cold. And then we do have the Best of the Attitude Era Royal Rumble matches. I will be getting into this one pretty in depth. I'll probably make a separate video about it. And, you know, your simple reviews will be coming as well. But yeah, there's that one. Which, like I said, I have a lot to say about this one. So we'll get there. Don't worry. Uh, the Legends documentary, uh, Volume 3 DVD. Could not find it. Um, I checked two Walmarts, as usual. What the fuck do you expect? So, um, uh, oh, there are the UK DVDs as well. The Cody Rhodes one. And then, um, what else? The Raw 30. I still have to get those two. Not really a big rush. Uh, the Raw 30 one's pretty intriguing. But, yeah, you all know I'm not that big of a Cody Rhodes fan. If you've been watching me long enough. And I did watch the Rumble. I watched Elimination Chamber. Planning on watching WrestleMania. Um, in terms of AEW, I haven't really watched too much. I am a humongous MJF fan, but that's really about it in terms of AEW. That's really the only intriguing thing for me. Um, it never really was my cup of tea, but I thought they had a great run in like 2020, 2021. They had good momentum. And yeah, ever since Brawl Out, the, the all out CM Punk press conference fight incident. Um, yeah, I think, I, I don't know. I've just kind of lost interest. Not because of that, but just, I don't know. I've just, I don't know. I'm kind of jaded with um, all of wrestling right now. But with WWE, I've been paying attention more and more. Um, the Sami Zayn bloodline stuff I was pretty into. I thought Survivor Series was great. The Rumble, eh, you know, it was kind of predictable. And I, I like that Rhea Ripley won. She deserves it. Cody Rhodes, eh, yeah, I'm not a fan. You know that. So um, Elimination Chamber, though, I thought that was a phenomenal pay-per-view. Um, pretty much top to bottom was really good. The Chamber match was great. Uh, the men's one, um, the main event was phenomenal. So, yeah. That's kind of an update on my wrestling fandom, if you want to call it that. I will be watching WrestleMania. You know, I obviously, I don't, I'm not watching Raw and SmackDown. I haven't watched NXT in probably four years. So, yeah, I am paying attention enough, though. I read the dirt sheets, read the articles, you know. I love me some rankings, stuff like that. But... Yeah, I, um, I've been watching the occasional YouTube clips, and I think WrestleMania is shaping up to be pretty interesting. Um, Brock Lesnar and Omos is kind of intriguing to me. Um, clearly, Vince McMahon's fingerprints are all over that one. But I do think the product has improved over the last, I don't know, almost a year. Um, but yeah, um, I guess that's about it for wrestling updates. In terms of the channel, I'm here. I've been on YouTube since 2011 now, so 13 years. Um, not 13, 12 years, good God. 12 years now, we've been on YouTube, and um, it's always been off and on. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, my At this point, my life's kind of in shambles. I'm just being honest with you. I'm going to be moving soon, uh, not for good reasons, and yeah, my life's just been a hectic mess, um, especially over the last like year or two. Things have just kind of been going downhill, and now it's just kind of imploded, and that explains the absence. I'm very jaded with life, not only wrestling, just all media life, all my hobbies. It's very difficult to get on camera it really is and um for people that are youtubers people that have been doing this i'm sure you understand 
you're not always feeling YouTube. Um, but I, I enjoy YouTube. I will always have a YouTube presence. I've always said that. Even if I have to take breaks, um, you know, it's off and on. But, you know, I enjoy making videos, um, all types of videos. You know, I have other channels I still want to um, build and accomplish other things on YouTube. YouTube's a very different place than it was 12 years ago. Um, not necessarily in a bad way, it's just a very different platform. And, you know, you have shorts now, um, you have, I don't know, you have all sorts of shit. So, there's a lot to experiment with, there's a lot that I want to try, so we'll see. Um, yes, I'll be making videos, they might not be the same as they've always been, but that just kind of reflects me as a person. I've changed a lot over the years. I do want to do live streams again. Um, they weren't always my thing, but I do enjoy doing them. I do enjoy talking to you guys. I have a lot of social anxiety. I have a, I, have, I mean, I have a lot of problems. But yeah, live streams weren't always the easiest thing to do for me, but I always did enjoy doing them. I always got good feedback. I always got, you know, a lot of you enjoyed it. So yeah, I do plan on doing live streams again. I don't know if I'm going to live stream WrestleMania. If that's something you want to see me do, obviously not the pay-per-view, but me watching it. I've done that in the past, you know, sitting down, watching with you guys. If you'd be interested in that, I'd consider it. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more live streams, Q&As, I want to do different stuff, more creative stuff, you know, not just DVD reviews, not just even wrestling videos, you know, even if I'm doing non-wrestling stuff. It'd be cool. Um, believe it or not, that's the kind of stuff I thrive in is non-wrestling stuff. Um, but, you know, it's always fun to come back, just do simple, brainless DVD reviews. It's fun. It's a hobby. It's You don't have to think too much. You can just whip your camera out and talk about a pay-per-view, you know? I've always collected physical media. Honestly, since like 2003, I've collected. So... Yeah, it's always going to have a presence in my life, as well as YouTube, and, you know, this channel being included, you know, wrestling will always have a big part of my life, not as big of part of my life as it used to, but it is there, and I do enjoy talking about it still. I have different opinions than most. I consider myself kind of an old-fashioned person in a lot of ways, so... Yeah, maybe that's why AEW doesn't really fit for me. But I'm not shitting on AEW by any means. It's just not really for me. Um, you know, but it is what it is. You know, I love all wrestling. Wrestling's an art form to me still. So, yeah, I respect the sport, uh, the art of it. And, yeah, I just, um, I've reached the point where I don't watch everything. I just watch things I'm interested in. And that's just kind of more fun. I'm tired of sitting here bitching about everything. I'm tired of just complaining, not liking what I see. So yeah, I just kind of watch what I'm interested in. What I know I'm probably going to like. But if I don't like it, it is still fun to bitch about things. Let's be honest. Who doesn't love a good bitch fest? Come on. But yeah. Um, down below, if you have any questions, you know, I'll respond. I'll reply. Uh, I do have some videos coming up. Um, I'm going to be uploading a lot in the next, like, two days. Kind of catching up a little bit. But, yeah, that's about it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm not dead. I've gotten a lot of comments thinking I'm dead. I'm not dead. Yeah, not yet. I'm here. Not dead yet. But, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you soon. Maybe I'll do a live stream this weekend or something. Maybe Sunday. I don't know. If you want to see a live stream Sunday, let me know. But for now, peace out.